Hello, everyone, and welcome to yet another exciting and insightful session. My name is Amara Yusuf, and I'm a student of Class 12 from Delhi Public School, Bangalore East. Today, I, on behalf of EduTV, will be conducting the interview with Mr. Anif Gupta. Before we begin, I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to EduTV, Pranav Sir, and Tanya Ma'am for this wonderful opportunity. Today's session is going to help create awareness about issues that are of paramount importance and require our immediate attention. For this, we will presently be in conversation with someone who is actively striving towards making that change. We will learn about the developments and the other work that they have been involved in for a globally sustainable living. I would like to begin by introducing our guest, Mr. Anid Gupta. Anid Gupta, sir, is a happiness coach, sustainability crusader, and strategist with over 21 years of international work experience. He is the co-founder of ARC, an educational startup working on innovative products like books on SDGs to make our future generation happy and globally responsible citizens. He is deeply passionate about working with young minds and improving the well-being of the society as a whole. His educational background includes an MBA from Goizueta Business School, Emory University in Atlanta, and a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering from Punjab Engineering College, Chandigarh, India. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us today. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you. The pleasure is all mine. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us. On that good note, uh, let us begin our interview. Sure. So, so my first question is, what motivated you to take up sustainable development and base your startup on this particular cause and action plan devised by the UN? So, yes, um, I think I was doing pretty well in my corporate life and I was uh, uh, doing various things in strategy. But uh, my moment of epiphany came when I became the head of Subhash Chandra Foundation. And when I became the head, I traveled to different parts of the country, went to the, went to the rural areas. That's where I realized that whatever we are doing is not enough. It's way too less as a society. So um, luckily for me, at the same time, Ritu, my co-founder, had this concept uh, of having books for children on sustainable development goals. We realized that our education system is totally focused on core subjects, math, science, English. In fact, you see any of these ads by the big names and you'll, uh, there are only two, three feelings which uh, you'll get. One is that of fear, second is that of competition and third is that of pressure. I don't think uh, our kids need that. People like you, children like you, students like you don't need it. I think what we want is a world where Obviously, there is some competition, but we want a world where the students are more resilient. They are better. They should become better human beings in life. And with that goal in mind, we felt that SDGs provide a perfect tool to accomplish our, uh, our task because SDGs talk about all the problems our planet is facing today. So if consider a world where every child on this planet understands that these are the big problems of our planet, be it hunger or poverty or education, gender equality, inequality in all other forms, uh, climate action, all of those things are covered under SDGs. So when every child is aware, tomorrow when they become the leaders and tomorrow when they're in positions where they can take important decisions, they'll all work towards sustainability. And I think that is the premise with which we started the uh, company. Right, so, so that's, that's a great thought and it definitely is important. But using this as a segue to my next question, why is education for sustainability in itself important for the existing youth and the forthcoming generations? I think um, as uh, you remember, Greta Thunberg just sat outside the school and said, well, if there is no planet left, what will I do with this education? What will we all do? What will you do learning finance and marketing and all of those things? If, if there is no planet for us to survive. So our basic need is that we need to make our planet 
uh, a better place. We need to at least save it. And I think that is where education is always that first step which brings a change in the society. You can do hundreds of uh, activities, workshops with adults, but as adults, our mindset has become more or less uh, stuck in, in some place. I think the younger generation is more powerful. And I think your generation is not just more powerful, they are uh, smarter and they are more inclined towards saving our planet. I think this is a big, big difference which I see between my generation and your generation. Uh, so if you are equipped with the right tools, if you understand all these problems in, a, in the right way, then I think uh, we'll solve all of these problems. So that is why I think integrating sustainability in education is one of the big things. Even Modi ji said uh, at COP26 that uh, including uh, sustainable education on sustainability and climate is very important uh, in, in, all, in all of our education system. Right, sir. Thank you very much uh, for joining our, um, our session. And we come to the end. Um, it was a pleasure having you with us, sir. And it is very important for all our viewers to know that, yes, there is only one Earth and we have to preserve it for the coming generations so that this is a world that we all get to share. Um, thank you very much, sir. Um, have a great day ahead. Uh, take care, stay safe. I would wish the same to our um, to our viewers as well. Take care, stay safe, and all the best. Thank you, Amra. Thank you. Amra. Thank you, sir. Take care. Bye bye.